Hello everyone, this is a quick demo of the Data Explorer tool within Ruckus Analytics, our cloud service for network intelligence and service assurance for your Ruckus network. In this video, we'll use the Data Explorer to drill down into a data cube. Data cubes are some of the most powerful tools you can use to drill down on virtually any dimension of data you are looking for. If we select Data Explorer on the left-hand panel, we can see that we are presented with a number of different types of data cubes on the left and dashboards on the right. There are actually 20 data cubes that are pre-organized for different types of functions. The data cubes list the number of dimensions you will be able to assign and the number of measures you can use to analyze the dimensions. Let's assume we have been some have, having some issues with client connections and we think it may have to do with some DHCP changes that were made recently. I can select the client connection statistics data cube and I am presented with the dimension that is available to me on the left and my two measures, which are the count for each dimension and the client MAC count for each dimension. At the top, you can see we have a default filter of time, which by default is the latest day, but I can easily make this the last seven days or some custom value if I need to drill down and get more specific as to a date and time when I saw a problem. Now I need to select the dimension I want to take a look at. I will select the failure type dimension see what types of connection failures my clients have been experiencing. If I drag it to the Explorer bar, it will show me a count of all the failure types. If I drag it instead to the filter bar, it will allow me to select a filter for a specific type of failure. So let's select DHCP as our filter type. And now I can see that my count for DHCP failure types was 3,000, roughly 3,000 uh, failures, but I can select now from the left-hand side really any scenario uh, or dimension that I want to explore. So if I want to explore the zones that these things actually occurred in, I can do that. And if I want to further explore the zone and then maybe AP model, I can do that as well. And I can see that I had a high number of DHCP failures in my Sunnyvale offices on the R710. So I've set this up to look at it from a table perspective, but I have the option to click this drop down and now I can see that I can look at the data a bunch of different ways, including line charts, area stacks, bar charts, etc. I may get different dimensions allowed depending on what I select. So for instance, if I select line chart, it's actually going to show me the failure types over uh, the time dimension over, in this case, the last seven days. There are a couple of other neat things that you can do from here as well. One is you can take this Data Explorer entry and put it into a dashboard. Dashboard will be the next section that we actually talk about. You can also download the data uh, and you can modify some options with regards to the time zone and what the raw data looks like. One of my favorite features though is to look at uh, under the measure tab. Now I can add a multi-selection so I could actually have it um, work as both the event count and a unique MAC client count for this particular data dimension. But instead of, I'm gonna select compare. Compare is particularly interesting because I can now see for my time period, whether or not the number of instances increased or decreased from the previous time period. So why would I wanna do this type of a compare? Well, a great example, and it's something that's actually represented in the um, client troubleshooting section, is if I made a change, say, to some other service or to a server, and I noticed I was tracking for a specific thing like DHCP failures, and I noticed a significant change over the time that since I last upgraded or since I did the AP upgrade or the system upgrade, I could tell whether things had improved or gotten worse pretty quickly based on that change that I'd made. That concludes our demo on Data Cubes and Data Explorer. Thanks for watching.